Welcome, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make a spiced chocolate sauce. Let's get started. We are going to need three quarters of a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, five ounces of chocolate chips. In this case, these are bittersweet chocolate chips. And over here, what I have is a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and chili powder, a New Mexican style chili powder. Very common in uh, Latino cooking, especially in Mexico and in Tex-Mex. Chili and cayenne pepper and chocolate go really well together. To begin with our sauce, we're going to take our half and half and start to warm it up in a pan over a, a medium high heat. Going to add in our butter and our sugar. And we're gonna let this melt. And we're even gonna bring it up to a boil. One of the things you'll notice here is that the milk, or the half and half in this case, is gonna start to boil around the rim of the pan. I'm gonna stir in this butter and get it to melt. The sugar is gonna melt at the same time. Once I start to get a nice bubbling going into this pan, I will go ahead and add in the chocolate and basically stir the chocolate around until it gets melted. Really important that uh, as the sugar is melting, it's gonna have a tendency to want to settle to the bottom of the pan. It's not a bad idea to get your spatula and go along all over the bottom of the pan and even up on the sides. If you're noticing that, for example, here I'm getting a little bit of caramelizing, some butter actually got up to the side of the pan and it's starting to turn golden brown, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat a little bit and let this start to bubble. And I'm actually gonna cook it at a low boil for a couple of minutes. And what I'm looking for is a little bit of bubbling. I can actually feel with my spatula that the sugar is melted, so I don't feel any kind of granular quality against the bottom of the pan. So I can actually stop stirring. The more you stir, the more you're actually gonna cool off the sauce because you wind up disturbing the surface tension and you wind up cooling it off. So you're gonna leave that alone. And you can see very shortly we start to bubble along here. The bubbles are gonna to start to come around the edges and then it's gonna to start to bubble up on the center of the pan too. I'm gonna to let this cook for just a couple of, uh, for about a minute or so. Spatula is uh, very important. You wanna utilize one that can really take a, a high heat. This is a, a silicone spatula that can withstand 450 degrees. A standard rubber spatula, or if you have a spatula at home that's made out of a hard plastic, you might find that it'll actually start to melt when you wind up getting along the edges of the pan right along here. So that's not going to be ideal. You could use a wooden spoon as well, but the spatula is really great to really cover the entire bottom of the pan and along the side of the pan. So after two to three minutes have elapsed, add in our chips. Stir that in and let the hot liquid in here melt this chocolate. You could utilize a, a bar form. Really important that you wind up taking the uh, bar and break it up into chunks and then take those chunks and chop them up into really small pieces with your knife. If you wind up utilizing really big chunks inside the pan, they're not gonna melt rapidly enough and you wanna make sure that they get really nice and melted and you also wanna make them, you wanna have them melt quickly. So that's why chips come in really handy because they have a smaller size. If it turns out that the liquid is cooling off too rapidly and the chocolate isn't melted completely, and the way to tell that is it should be absolutely smooth. You should have no lumps of chocolate in here at all. Then I can always put it back onto a low heat if I need to, just to gently reheat this. But I think we're gonna be just fine. I'm gonna stir it together, and it's gonna take just a little bit of stirring to get the half and half to blend up with the chocolate. And you can see when it does that, it's gonna have a really smooth appearance to it. Once I get that nice smooth look, our chocolate sauce will be finished. While it's still really nice and warm, I like to stir in my spices. This is some cayenne pepper and some chili powder, about a teaspoon. Stir that on in. And this is gonna give a really nice smoky component that actually complements the sweet chocolate very, very well. And the cayenne pepper is gonna be enough to just give a nice little burn in the back of the throat. We don't want anything really overpowering. And to serve, what I like to do is take a little bit of this sauce right onto the bottom of a plate, use the back of my spoon and swirl the spoon around to cover the plate, maybe not necessarily cover the entire plate. I like to have the corners of the plate exposed with a square plate, and then take a cupcake like a chocolate cupcake here, since we're dealing with a spicy chocolate sauce, and set that right in there. We could actually finish it off. Here it's been finished off with a little cake crumb on top. Uh, you could easily complement this with some toasted, uh, coarsely chopped almonds. Almonds and chocolate and the spice go really well together. 
or you could even finish it off with a little sprinkling of cocoa powder. That would be a nice little component as well. And that is our spiced chocolate sauce. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.